What's up, what's up, what's up, passengers? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, Heavy Duty, coming at you solo. I'd like to welcome y'all once again aboard the Heavy Duty Express, where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And the lady boss, she got to clean up the rest. And coming like a chef for me. One more time, coming like a chef for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over and hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you'll get a notification and come check us out. Well, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Then I'll tell you what this stuff is right here in this bowl. A little simple tonight, but it's going to be good. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this time to thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon us. Lord, we ask you to bless this meal for the nourishment of our body. We ask you to forgive us our sins and our shortcomings. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, look at him. Let's see. We got some crackers going along there. And the right in the middle, we got some ramen noodles with some sauteed up shrimp. I put some cheese and, and yeah, and some seasons in with it. So, I, I tasted it a while ago before I set it up. It tastes so good. I did it a little bit di different this time than what I usually do. It Usually, I mix the crackers and everything, just mix it all up that way. I can start eating it. But, hey, since I'm doing a show with it, I guess I had to figure I had to make it a little look pretty for y'all. So, we go, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Like I said, it's beef ramen noodles with some like I said, cheese and shrimp and seasonings and... I put some mango habanero sauce in it from Dot that are, we got from Domino's. And this got some crackers. Mm-hmm. Good little little something, Lady Boss. She had um loaded baked potato soup. And a cheesy grilled cheese. We do the grilled cheese, take them and, you know, you put the cheese in the center. We use shredded cheese. Put the cheese in the, shred in the center. And then, um, after you get one side kind of browned from the butter, take it and flip it over. That way the other, guy, other side can start browning our butter. And then you sprinkle a layer of shredded cheese on top of on top of the bun, or the bread, whatever you preferably bread because it's flat. But uh, take it, set it on there, put a lid on it. That way, that heat circular goes over the top of the cheese and kind of melts it down. That way, when you flip it over, it won't all come off. So then you take the lid on and put it on it for a little bit, and then let it, let that cook for a little bit, and then take it, flip it over again. Boy, oh boy. Put some more cheese on the other side of the bread. Do the repeat the same steps, and when that joker gets good and uh, like a little brown on both sides of the cheese on the outside, it's ready. And man, oh man, it is so good. Hey there, baby. Yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. Muck bird. So how was everybody's Christmas? Hope y'all had a a good time. Got to eat good. Enjoyed your gifts. Mmm. That's so good. I took the shrimp. Took them out. 
thawed them out. Well, run some water over them until I got the thawed out real quick. Took tore the, the tails off. Then uh, took them and cut them in half. And to in between the in between the tail and the front of, to cut it in half. To make more littler pieces. Put them in a skillet. Put some butter in there. And with the other stuff I put in there with it, the mango habanero seasoning, slap your mama seasoning. Mm. Tea is very good. I'm drinking on some Bud Light tonight, y'all. Just a couple of them. Oh, how'd y'all like the caboose? I was in, me and Lady Boss come up with that idea. Come on. <coughs> Give me y'all. Sorry about that. Yeah, now we come New Year's. Whatever y'all do, please stay safe. I don't know if I don't know if we're doing anything for New Year's or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to go up and see one of my old old friends, but the way this Corona's kicking right now, I don't know if it'd be a real wise decision or not. I mean, let let boss kind of talk about it. His mom and aunt on a bar, and they do New Year's Eve party every year. Karaoke, got a pool table. So, we went back in 2016, I think it was, <coughs> and, um,
Yeah, I think it was 2016. Had a blast. But with Corona, I don't even know if they're going to be able to be open for New Year's. I didn't talk to them. Mmm. There's some good stuff right here, y'all. I need to go to Domino's and just buy a bunch of that mango habanero sauce from them. That stuff's good. Y'all want another bite? Yum, yum. I love this ramen noodles. I don't know about y'all. Mm. I want to do something with two, uh, with the two times spicy sauce. Try that. I think it'll be pretty good. Pretty good. Come on, like Jeff, honey. And if you're new to the channel, if you would run over, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification. Come check us out. about there y'all getting about there Man, whoo, I think I'm going to have one more bite, I'm gonna, one more good bite, maybe two, and I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Hmm. Oh!
know what? I'm true. <laughs> Wait a minute. That piece of shrimp caught on my name right there. And that one. And that one. And that one. <laughs> mm. Yeah. About 30, it's over with. I'm done. I'm full of a stick on a hundred pound dog butt. If I eat any more, I'm going to be miserable. I don't want to be miserable. So. Excuse <coughs> me. Sorry about that, y'all. Excuse me. Who? What? Wrong thing. I need Gmail. Daily bread. Today is December the 26th, 2020. The topic for the day is Who Needs Me? The reading comes from 1 Kings 19, 9 through 12, and then 15 through 18. It says up at the top, when you get there, anoint Hazael king over Aram. That's First Kings nineteen fifteen. It was like this: While on a red eye flight to Washington D.C., opinion writer Arthur Brooks overheard an elderly woman whisper to her husband, "It's not true that no one needs you anymore." The man murmured something about wishing he was dead, and his wife replied, "Oh, stop! Stop saying that." When the flight ended. Brooks turned around and immediately recognized the man. He's what, he was a world-famous hero. Other passengers shook his hand, and the pilot thanked him for the courage he displayed decades ago. How had this guy, giant sunk into despair? The prophet Elijah bravely and single-handedly defeated 450 prophets of Baal, or so he thought. Yet he hadn't really done it alone. God was there all along. But later, feeling all alone, he asked God to take his life. God lifted Elijah's spirits by bringing him into his presence and giving him new people to serve. He must go and anoint Hazael king over Aram. Jehu king over Israel, and Elijah to succeed you as a, as a prophet. Excuse me. Invigorated with renewed purpose, Elijah found and mentored his successor. Your great victories may lie in the rearview mirror. You may feel your life has peaked or that it never did. No matter, look around. The battles may seem smaller, the stakes less profound, but there are still others who need you. Serve them well for Jesus' sake, and it will count. They're your purpose, the reason you're still here. I like that. I mean, it just lets you know that you, you are here to serve a purpose. And some, uh, a lot may not know that purpose yet, but there's there's definitely a purpose for you. That's why you're still alive, to fulfill that purpose that God has, has planned for you. And you will may you may know when the time comes. You probably, I guess you probably will. Um, today's Reflect and Pray says, Holy Spirit, open my eyes to those I can serve for Jesus' sake. Amen. Lord, open my eyes and show me the ones that I can save for Jesus' sake. I know a lot of people have tried to, well, 
back when I was messing up, still using, um, a lot of people tried to save me, tried to help me, did anything and everything they could to to try to get me to do better and, and help me any way they could. But until somebody is ready to be helped, there's no open for them. But I mean, it was their... That may not be their purpose that God gave them, but it's a all the time purpose that God gave everybody is to help those in need. And so when you, you help somebody in need, you're you're doing a good deed. It looks good. Uh, God and Jesus love to see that kind of thing. But yeah, if y'all want to go back and read First Kings nineteen nine through twelve and on to 15 through 18 and see see how you can play that into your life <coughs> well, yeah I don't know about y'all but I'm full and uh I'm gonna get over here and I don't know <laughs> I know uh, well, I gotta start I gotta edit this video and get it up ready for tomorrow for Sunday for everybody Speaking of, I hope everybody has a good day Sunday. And, um. Comment like a chef for me. Y'all heard Lady Boss? Comment like a chef for me. And if you're new to the channel, if you would, run over and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell, select all. That way, every time we upload a video or go live, you get a notification. Come check us out. But, y'all, if you want to get you some Heavy Duty Express merch, go on Lady Boss Mask on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the store on Facebook. You can order through there if you, if you, if you so desire. Um, then uh, we got some more on Instagram on Lady Ross Mask. Y'all say if it's not heavy duty related, something you got special you want done, we can probably get it done for you. Just, just get shoot us, give us a shout, shoot us a line. We'll, we'll, we'll catch it. <laughs> but until next time, thank you once again for coming aboard the Heavy Duty Express. Where we're always blessed, never stressed, and I'm always a mess. And then Lady Boss, she got to clean up the rest. And may y'all stay blessed, never stressed, and try to stay out of a mess. But if you do get in one, always remember, call on the good Lord. He'll help you through it. But y'all be good. We love you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. As once again, hope everybody had a wonderful Merry Christmas. And... Y'all be good. We love y'all. Bye-bye. Peace.